Sister Martha read so well. God bless you. Hallelujah. Water you turned into wine. He opened the eyes of the blind and there's no one like him. Amen? Amen. Amen. No one like our God. Hallelujah. And it was, it was raining earlier on and it was so, so heavy. But I believe in showers of blessings. And I believe that God is showering us right now with his water of love, with his refreshing of spirit. And however you're feeling this morning, you need to turn up the mic a little bit for me, Raheem, bless you. No matter how you're feeling this morning, you know that our God is so, so good. And Amen. he's greater, greater than no other. Hallelujah. 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 Boy, you turn into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. Yeah. 
father, sister, Simone, Nicholson, Wood. <laughs> I'm calling out the ladies that birthdays are in and around me, you know. Because Sister Simone's birthday was yesterday. So here we go. I'm going to ask Sister Simone if she just bless the tithes and offerings this morning. Amen. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. I don't worry when things go wrong. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your name this morning. Amen. We lift you up, oh God, because you are worthy and worthy to be praised. Amen. Here we are, oh God, in your presence, oh God, to present, oh God, part of what you have blessed us with, oh God. And as we stretch for our offerings, mighty God, I pray, oh God, that they will go, oh God, to the extension of your work, oh God, doing exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can imagine or even think of, oh God. So here, oh God, accept this offering right now. And let it do your will and your will only in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So I'm going to ask now if the young people are ready and if they will come up and minister their song. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. And if they will come up and render to us their song that they have to sing this morning and their presentation thereafter.
God says I can do. I am going to reach that end. It doesn't matter if I fall a few times, but I will get there. We wouldn't be where we are today. As a church, we've got mothers, we've got fathers of Zion that have continued to pray time after time. And if it wasn't for them saying, I am, and I will get there through God's grace, we wouldn't be where we are today. So I'm encouraging you all to sing alongside these young people. If God is putting it in your spirit to point at a certain young person, it doesn't have to be one of these singing. It can be a musician. There's also children that are in the congregation right now. Look at them, allow them to see that they can be all that God Hallelujah. has allowed them to be. Amen. They may not see the end result right now, but I'm encouraging you to see it. Allow them to see that you mean it. Allow them to know that you're praying and God has put in, them, in your spirit that they are what God is going to allow them to be. Okay? Amen. We're going to sing one more time. I am what God says I can be.
when they form the battlefield. In London, 1854, there were reports of lack of necessities and lack of nursing care for soldiers in the Crimean War. Despite Mary's experience, her offer to serve as an army nurse were refused, and she attributed her rejection to racial prejudice. Undaunted, she funded her own trip to Crimea, now part of Ukraine, where she established the British Hotel with Thomas Day, a relative of her husband. The hotel provided a place of respite for sick and recovering soldiers. At the time, Mary was well known in Britain as Florence. Well known, Mary was as well known in Britain as Florence Nightingale. She assisted the wounded at the military hospitals and was a familiar figure at the transfer point for casualties from the front. When the war ended, Mary went back to Britain with, a li with very little money. Soldiers wrote letters to newspapers praising what she had done. The Times War correspondent Sir William H. Russell wrote of Mary in 1857. I trust that England will not forget the one who nursed her sick and wounded. To many soldiers she was known as Mother Seagull. All those who admired her came to her aid, whether soldiers, generals or members of the royal family. In 1857 a fundraising gala was held for her over four nights on the banks of the River Thames. Over 80,000 80, people attended. In 1857, her autobiography, Wonderful Adventures of Mrs. Seagull in Many Lands, was, was published and became a bestseller. A festival was held in her honor to raise funds and acknowledge her contributions, and she received the decorations from France, England, and Turkey. After her death, she fell into obscurity, but in 2004, she took first place in the 100 Greatest Black Britons poll in the United Kingdom. On 30th of June, 2016, a memorial statue of Mary Seacole was unveiled by Baroness Flu Fluella Benjamin OBE in the gardens of St. Thomas Hospital. The UK's first in honor of a named black woman. God wants us to bless others. First Peter 4 verse 10 says, as each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's very grace. In first Peter 4 10, we're called to use our gifts to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace. Peter was specifically talking talking about spiritual gifts like prophecies and healings. Those are supernatural abilities God gives each Christ follower. But the general idea of blessing others also carries over to talents. God doesn't give us anything just for our own benefit. After all, we're blessed to be a blessing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. An amazing woman. Amazing woman. And a lot of us have taken her footsteps and gone into the nursing profession. Um, anybody in here alongside myself that are in that field, if you'd like to stand. Stand up, stand up, stand up. If you're a man or a woman, Brother Howard, Adamson, you're not in the, you're not in the care profession. Okay. Okay. You retire. Okay. Amen. 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 We stand alongside Mary Seacole. Amen. Hallelujah. As God bless people with something that little extra that we bring to the table when we nurse patients, when we look after the elderly, the young, the infirm, we bring something different. Amen? Amen. It's not everybody that can do it. Trust you me, I didn't no. think I could do it. <laughs> but God had a plan. Yeah. Amen? Amen? And so we are a blessing just like Mary Seagull yeah. is, a, is a blessing or was a blessing. And we stand with her as black people giving God thanks for what he has done in our lives. Amen? Amen. 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 Just before the speaker comes on, we're just going to just give God another praise, another praise in song. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he lives, 
all fears are gone. Amen? Whatever you're going through this morning, and I, I keep saying this, but you don't know what people are going through, do you? Amen. You know, until it happens. And sometimes we need to pray into people's lives. We need to cover people before the thing happens, before they go through that 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 horrible time in their lives. You know, we, we need to cover them and so that they know that God is standing by, amen? amen. Because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Amen. Because he lives, all fears are gone. Amen. Because we know who holds our future. And that life is worth living just because he lives. Amen. Come on, people of God, let's raise to our feet and give God a praise offering in his song this morning. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow.
that we can give you praise. We thank you, O oh God, for the breath in our lungs. And Lord, we come with a spirit of expectation. Oh Lord, hearing, oh Lord, from you this morning. Holy Spirit, we pray that you will abide in this place. Hallelujah, that you will touch your man's servant. That he will, oh God, speak. Oh Lord, a read a word, a word, oh God, that is sharper that is an two-edged sword that comes direct from the throne room. Lord, we pray that any, any fear, oh God, will be cast out in the name of Jesus. We speak, oh God, life this morning. We speak, oh God, hallelujah, we speak praise unto your name. Hallelujah, the devil is a liar and yes. he has no place in this place this morning. Hallelujah. And Lord, we lift you up, we glorify you. And we pray, oh Lord, that evangelist Harvey Oh God, that oh Lord, he will come with power. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, that oh God, he will deliver a word. Oh Lord, that you have for us, that you will speak into our situations, and that we will leave this place knowing that you, God, have been here, that you, God, are speaking to us, and that we will do what you bid, oh God. In Jesus' name, we ask you to touch him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Anoint him, oh God, as only you can. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Brother Harvey, we commit you, oh God, in the name of the Father and yeah. of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Church, welcome Brother Harvey. Hallelujah. Brother Harvey. The church. Amen. Okay, see, please. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a great privilege and a great opportunity to stand before you again, representing the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I greet the Bishop Pastoral Team in the name of Jesus. I greet my dear beloved Pastor. I greet, um, welcome back, Sister Joanna. Amen. Amen. Nice to have you back. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Welcome, Warrior for Christ. Um, put your hands together for the for the musician. Amen. Amen. My beautiful princess. Amen. Hallelujah. And of course, my beautiful wife. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I remember when I went to the Gambia, I sang this song. When I think of the goodness of Jesus. And what he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, thank God for saving me, when I think of of Jesus, thank you, Lord. And what He has done for me, my soul cries out, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my God. You push and let everything up, right? Praise 
My God, I command flesh to die. Glory to your name, mighty God. You deserve the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty God. You deserve the honor, mighty God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jehovah. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the Conqueror of the Lion. You are the Triumph of Judah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the mighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory. We are something to give God thanks. Hallelujah. Let's the Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord.
May the Lord give you other children. No, sorry. May the Lord give you five blessings. Amen. May the Lord give you five blessings. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You might name one. You might want the children. You might want a husband or a wife. You might want to restore your marriage. You maybe want finance and health. May the Lord give you five blessings. Yes, Hallelujah. But guess what you have to do? Remember before Hannah, before the man of God spoke into Hannah's life, Hannah did something before that. He gave up Samuel. So I was, whilst I was preparing this service, the Lord said, tell the congregation to sow a seed. I have my one. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to, I remember... God bless Sister Anderson. She always share food in the kitchen and share with herself. I will never share with myself a food. I'm not sure put my food aside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not going to give you no word that I don't experience it. Amen. I make sure I write my, my seed to soul. Because you know what? If we are living in a season where we are experiencing tough times, we are experiencing some serious time. So we need to experience God even in this time. Because Amen. guess what? If your God is not real to you, problem will kill you. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Praise God. Because you can only stand up before somebody and tell them about your God. When you have been through something Amen. and God has taken you through. Amen. And you can tell somebody, say, no matter what you are going through, the God that I serve. Amen. We'll take your shoes. So whatever you're going through, it is a testimony. That's Hallelujah. Right. That's praise right. God. That's right. Hallelujah. Praise God. Your chapter 2, 20 to 21 is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. I was, I was telling my wife the other day, I, I dreamt to see Tessa. And I said, whatever happening at the moment is like, it's only a distraction to what's about to come. That means we have to stand strong. I was saying to my wife, you have a auntie that died and I have a nephew that died in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you that we're living in a serious time. It's not a joke thing. Yeah. That if you are not serious about God, mm -hmm. if you're not really serious about God, the Bible oh, says the enemy comes to do three things. Kill, Kill steal, steal, and destroy. Yeah. But you see, when your soul is insured with Jesus Christ, he said, I know where I am going. I know. I know. When you have a relationship with God, you are not afraid of death. That's right. Because Amen. the Bible says, Philippians 1, 21, to live is Christ and yes. to die is even better. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And when your loved one God and know that they have been serving God, that Amen. gives you a peace in your heart. So therefore, once you arrive and you know somebody who have not yet accepted Christ, tell them before it's too late. That's right. I'm Amen. driving my car at times, and I remember this young guy before he crashed off his bike, he brought one of my CDs, also a rapper. I said, can, If you're a good person, can you go to heaven? I said, My brother, let me park on my car. According to the Bible, unless you accept Seven. Jesus Amen. Christ Amen. as your Lord and Savior, you will not reach heaven. In about three weeks after the guy crashed off my bike, yes. and then we are living in a real world, people, we're a real problem. I will in a world where that a real God. Ah. But the thing is that is your God real to you? Amen. You ever sound so real, real, real? I'm so, so real to me. I love, I love him because he gave us the victory. Many people doubt him, but I, but I, I can do without him. That's why. That is why I love him so. He's so real. He's so real to, to me. me. Amen. Amen. I said to my princess, I said, princess. I know you're young, but your, your degrees and the pluma don't impress me. Don't sell out God for the pluma. I know you might, might not have degrees, or whatever you want to call it, or doctorate. Don't go to university with God and come back with degrees and you know, all these things and come back without God. Amen. Without God, we are nothing. nothing. Yeah. Like, what does it profit you mm. for you to get all these wonderful things, nice house, and nice so cars, so. and money in the account, but then you don't have Jesus yeah. with you? When problem comes, when doctor tell you that child, there 
needs to leave when doctor tell you that you have a sickness when doctor give you all these news but then you will have Jesus in you your Bible said the weapon form against me shall prosper and if you're in the hospital you're telling somebody about God my God if you have a couple days to live you're still telling somebody about God Amen. hallelujah praise God I'm so blessed today I had it's nice to be in the service there was people uh, giving the testimonies for those who are looking for it on Facebook. Sometimes not everything go on Facebook. It was a wonderful service this morning. You yes, missed it. it was. Trust me, missed it. it. was a heartfelt. People were crying and talking. Mm, talking, talking. Amen. was so wonderful. I was saying, there was Amen. actually, they were saying they need to have more of these services. Yes. Where people come express yeah. what they've been going through, what God has done for them. Amen. And it's a heartfelt family affair. You missed that one. And also, we had Bible study. I was like, my God, I, I thank God for this. It's been a long time. I've been here for morning, straight through. It remind me, and I always talk about this. It remind me when I used to come to church, going through immigration problem, and I sat at the back there. My God, and the only place I felt safe was in the house of God. Back in the days, you could go on the road and immigration send you home without making a, you don't even plan to go back home yet. And the only place I felt safe was in the house of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And I made God a promise. I said, God, if you give me one of those passports. I used to think, how can a person have a British passport that looks so sad? I, I couldn't understand it. I, I'm here wanting a passport. Can't go back home to see my family. And you have a passport. And it looks so sad. I couldn't believe it. I said, Lord, the day you give me a passport, I can travel and play whenever time I'm ready. I will always praise you. Amen. I will always praise your mighty God. And you know when you go to some stuff, how do you know? No, decline. How do you decline? Decline. I remember one time, oh, Pastor Scott, Bishop Scott, they prayed for me at the back of church. I was going to Newport that day. The, oh my God, the prayer. And they say, yes, Father God. I will definitely get you back telling the people they pray, they pray, they pray. Yes, sir. And when I went to Newport, I stand up. The judge said, go back home. <laughs> <laughs> It's the problem you're crying over there, you're supposed to laugh about it. <laughs> Hallelujah. At that time, my wife pregnant, she said, You know what? Take your wife back on the boat. <laughs> she said, Jesus Christ. These people are wicked. <laughs> oh, glory, 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 glory. <laughs> and then we, I said, You know what? My sister said to me, I'm giving you a testimony. And sometimes you hear me praising God, you may understand that's why right, I praise God right. the way I do. Yeah, and right. I say that no pastor, no church brother, no church sister can stop me from praising that's God. Right. When yeah. you have your conviction yeah. and you know what God yeah. has done, it's a problem, it's glory, necessary. Glory. Because when you go to your problem, you experience God. Yes. Yeah. So when nobody knows me, and I went to Jamaica, and I went to Jamaica, and I said, okay, I'm going home. Okay, my wife came on, I was okay on quickly. Give all my information to the people then so we can go back home with my wife. <laughs> Couple more weeks after the people I said, decline. Again. Oh my <laughs> God. So right. But then the word of God said, all things all work things. together for good. All things. I love the Lord. Amen. All things all work things. together for good. Amen. To them that love the Lord. Glory, and it's glory. in the it's in the England media, Jamaican media. That's right. They hear that brother Harvey was coming back on the plane and immigration sent him back. In Jamaica, they said they hear that brother Harvey get the port. No, when I was driving taxi, I tell everybody. Working a company, to leave a body about God. They said, Where is this God now? Mm. Where is this God now? Where is this God now? Remember, we went by God side praying and praying. When you're going through immigration, it's like even the dog get better treatment. I never see a letter drop to the door for me. Apart from the, the, the immigration letter, said decline. <laughs> and I said, God. That day, that any day, any day, Lord, don't give me a breakthrough. Even on the plane, I'm going to praise you. Amen. Yeah. Any day, any God, day. you give me a breakthrough. Even on the plane, I'm going to praise you. Amen. 
Praise God. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Mighty God, want to serve a mighty God. Yes. Anyway, we here by Holy Side pray. Giving God the praise and said, All things work together for good to me and I love the Lord. I'm telling you, good, my God. Is yes. I want, I want to show up and boast about my God. I was coming Amen. from Kingston at the immigration place and I saw this beautiful hotel called Pegasus Hotel. And that time I said, Lord, I know you and I always go by the Holy side to pray and read the Bible. I would like you and I to just go in the hotel and spend some time with the Lord. I made the mistake to go by Pegasus Hotel to ask him how much per night. <laughs> My God, when they give me the price, I stand up strong. Because when in Jamaica, I love chicken, but I could buy about 30 and chew the back of chicken. Back. I said, Lord, we stay by the good side now, guys. When they gave me the price, I see a box of chicken, back, chicken, back, chicken, back, chicken, back, chicken. I said, Lord, I love you, Lord. This is a lot of money for one night. No. But the Lord understand. The Lord understood. Amen. The, 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 the story continues, people of God. Amen. And then, we were there glorifying God. I was going all over Jamaica doing gospel concert. My friends and I were just praising the Lord and glorifying Him. And anyway, I go to the immigration place again. And I say, hey, accept it. Amen. I say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. The devil is in trouble. Hallelujah, praise God. And who knows about praise party, praise machine, praise party. That bird in Jamaica to glorify God right on the street. Amen. No, ladies, let me give you a testimony. No. Hallelujah, praise. On my way to England, bought my ticket. Say, yes, time to go to foreign. No. Praise the Lord. But I have a bus in order to have a breakthrough. <laughs> we went to Kingston Airport. My wife was excited to see me have big plans over here with cake. Welcome home there. They have big plans and all that. But the Lord had another plan. The Lord had another plan. Remember I told about Pegasus Hotel? No. No. Listen to what my father did. No, for me. Because I'm his masterpiece. Yes. I went to Kingston Airport. And guess what my father did? He canceled the flight. Yes. He said, my son, remember Pegasus Hotel? That you want to carry me? They carry me straight to Pegasus Hotel. I will really look like the love this up. I will really look like the love Pegasus Hotel. When I walk in, the food looks so nice. I see food, 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 food. Mm. <laughs> I said, my God. Oh, no, to give up. I know. I'm taking you to Pegasus. I, I, I Pegasus Hotel. Like, I'll explain to me, my son. When I went into the room, I'm going to run the bar. It's like I was in England, but I was still in Jamaica. You know what <laughs> I run the bath and pour some for it. Everything. I said, my wife called. I said, what happened? I said, baby, the fly canceled. <laughs> no, no, understand this that in heavy breakthrough, there's always something to disrupt. Yeah, yeah. People of God, yeah. when I open the fridge, it mm. mounts up different alcohol. <laughs> I said, damn, you're a liar. <laughs> You know, when you make God a promise, there's always something come to distract you from the promise you make God. Even though I'm not a drinker, but you know, sometimes I get something free when I try out everything. I didn't touch it. I remember the promise I, I made God, I, I lied on in the bar. And I said, God, I thank you. Amen. God, I just want to give you the praise. My yes. God, the water nice and warm. Remember, my Jamaica, now you go to the river, you have a shower. You know, you nobody know, have any time for no bath. Quick shower. Sometimes when you have a shower, the, the water breach your back. The cold water, you, you, you twist up like this, you twist up like this, you know. And nicely went into the bath, nice and slow. Relax in the bath. I said, my God. Amen. Hallelujah. England, here I come. Yes. When I left England, two 
2006, I was on the, in my car telling people about God. But then God had a different platform, promotion coming as I come up on the plane. Now, some of your callers said, how would you like to go on the radio station? I said, um, I thought he was going to play my music. I said, yes, he said, to be a presenter. I said, be a presenter? No, we didn't have Facebook and all these things. No, no Facebook and no Instagram and no all these social media. I said, I can tell a lot of people about God at the same time. I said, Jesus. <laughs> I said, me be a presenter. I said, yes, man. Hallelujah. They made the mistake and put me on the radio station. <laughs> I said, glory to God. Amen. Mighty God. I serve a God who don't sleep my slumber. Amen. Whatever your problem is, my God can carry you through. Yeah. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. When I have a good promotion, I don't have to just tell people in my taxi. I am on a radio station. I'm a presenter. Represent the King of Kings and Lords of Lords. No, I can address the people who said, I don't have to go to church to praise God. I said, okay, then stay at home and drink your alcohol all by yourself. Why do you go out and drink? Because you want to socialize. Because the Bible said in Psalm 133, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Amen. Hallelujah, praise God. I didn't even touch my sermon. <laughs> Why does think God wants somebody to hear? Yeah. So I make a promise that God, wherever I go, I'm going to praise you. I'm not going to scare of nobody. I don't care what nobody thinks about me because when nobody knows me, you know me. When I was going through my problem, you were here for me because you said that you will never leave me and you will never forsake me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. And wherever I go, I tell somebody about God. Sometimes when God bless my wife, she turn red, pink, yellow sometimes. My gosh, she said, God, I calm down with her. I calm down. I said, no, no, darling. When I'm going through my immigration, then people never know me. No, God promote me. They have to hear about God. Amen. Amen. Every opportunity, I remember, I went into a particular meeting. You know, one of those meetings, you know, it's not a time to talk about God in such time of meeting. There's a, there's a place and time for everything. But for me, there's a time for God every time. Amen. So then, no, I remember they were talking. About okay, what are they? Is that is that nice or group? And they and they and they put me around there and they said, um, what's uh, what's in your life you value most? So anyway, come around to me. They said, they say, they say, they say wife and daughter and this and that. I said, God. Amen. What else again? God. And anything else? God. Oh my God. So after the meeting finished. The lady said, I admire the faith. I said, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you see, people of God, in the presence of oh, God, yes. if you just live Woo! in the presence Amen. of God, in the midst of your sorrow, ah. you can have the fullness of joy. Understand yes. that this world is not an easy road. And Jesus said to his disciples, if any of you want to be my follower, you got to give up your whole way, take up the cross, and fix your eyes on me. Amen. That's right. Not on the bishop. Not on the, your husband or wife. Fix your eyes on me. Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hannah went into the house of God. Yes. I was touching too far because you know, I can't even go to the sermon. You know? The sermon has to stay at another time. Hannah went into the house of God because Penina was troubling her. Yes. Because she couldn't have any children. Amen. My God. Because God shut up Hannah's womb. Yes. Who did it? God. Why would God do a thing like that? You see, God will shut some doors in our life because he wants to get our attention. Amen. And he will allow people to provoke you to push you to him. Yes, and my God, Hannah, had to go to God. He said, my God, if you gave me a son, I will give him back to you. Yes. Hallelujah. Because God has a purpose for Hannah. Because he knows that he wants Samuel to raise by somebody who 
who appreciate him. He wanted Samuel to set apart. But in order to allow Samuel to go, he must place him with a mother who appreciate him. Amen. Praise God. And as and as Hannah, no, Hannah was at the Hannah was at the altar praying. And Hannah was just praying, but Hannah was praying. But her, 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 there was no sound coming out. She was moving her lip and talking, talking, talking. No. Eli came down and she was the woman of being drunk. Mm. No, you understand painting Nina? A, a, a trouble the lady. Yeah? She don't have any children and she being provoked. As she was at the altar, the priest come and said, why are you drunk? Hallelujah. Why are you Can you imagine you are going to your problem? <laughs> come to the altar and Bishop said to you, you're drunk. <laughs> you will say that come down like a heart. This my God is the last day I'm stepping foot in this church. But understand that Hannah humbled herself and said, No. And my spirit is troubled. I'm in sorrow. And guess what? Sometimes the same person who God will cause to disrespect you or to discourage you. If God, if the enemy use them, God will use the same person to bless you. Mm -hmm. That's right. Hannah humbled herself before God. Amen. And he said, go in peace. Whatever you ask, the Lord may grant you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Whatever you ask, the Lord will grant you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't know what you're going through anymore. Hannah cried. She cried. She was in tears. She was in tears because of what she been going through. But she said, Lord, when you give me this son, I will give him back Jesus. to you. Hallelujah. Praise God. I will give him back to you, mighty God. Hallelujah. And Hannah, hallelujah, gave back. Hallelujah. Samuel to the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord give you five blessings. Amen. Whatever you've been crying about, you may be in tears like Anna. You may be crying after night, after night, God sees your tears. Hallelujah. And just as he blessed Anna. And God will allow you to go to some stuff so people will know. Because he wants to bless you publicly as well. Hallelujah. So you can boast about your God. And when people try to shut you up, they can't. Because you have a relationship with God. You see, when you go to your problem and you experience God, it is impossible to say, there is no God. Any person who said that there is no God, all they know is just probably the word. I hear about something. I hear about God. But never know God. Yeah, but, yeah, because you start to say, Lord, if you are real, why you make this happen to you? Remember, when you give your life to Christ, it's no longer about you and I. It's about Him. And he wants to use your life for his glory. Don't take it personal. Hallelujah. How can a person meet you and then after he said, you are not real? Imagine somebody say, okay, I go to meet someone. So then a few years after I said, oh, that person is not real. I said, but I thought they said, you, you went to see that person last week. Where did you went? When you come in contact with God, remember you have your problem and you have God. Yeah. Your problem yeah. versus God. Yeah. You, yourself, your problem and God. When the door is closed, it's just you, your problem, yourself and God. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, which one do you give more attention to? Your problem or God? You tell your problem that I serve a big God. My problem is bigger. My God is bigger than my problem. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Your chapter 2, 20. The 21 is coming. Hallelujah. I don't know what you've been praying for. I don't know what you've been waiting for. Years after years, Hannah, my God, been, I've been, I've been troubling Anna. Years after years. Sometimes she can't eat. She keep crying and crying and crying. Hallelujah. But chapter 2, Samuel chapter 2, verse 20 to 21. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Before they would turn home, Eli would bless Elkanah and his wife and say, May the Lord give you other children.
to take the place of this one she gave to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. What do you have to give to the Lord today? Amen. Hallelujah. What do you have? May the Lord give you five blessings. What five areas do you want the Lord to bless you in? You see, you hear the word now and you must expect from God. Lift up your faith. Remember I said, it is impossible to please God without faith. And you get your own testimony. So when you go to your problem and you meet upon some intelligent fools telling about there's no God, you can say, no, no, no. You can tell that you never experienced God. That's why you can sound like that. But tell you know what? What I've been through, if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be here standing. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes we run away before we experience God. When our blessing is just around the corner, we gave up so we never get to experience God. But no man I know who I will stand with Jesus Christ. Never lose. The only time we lose is when we give up and go. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. May the Lord give you five blessings. I don't know if it's in children. Then if you want husband, wife, you want to restore marriage, finance, help. Whatever area, you know the areas that you want to experience God. And you see, when you experience God, don't keep it to yourself. You see, to overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and by testimony. Give your testimony. Guess what? Your testimony will encourage you and others. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. David testimony encouraged him because when he faced God, he remember where God has brought him from. To kill lion and bears, my God. David, David saw Goliath through the eyes of God. You are fighting against God. Who are you to stand up against God? Look at the circumstances through the eyes of God. And they become smaller. Hallelujah. Praise God. What are you going to give to the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have my pledge. As I said, I'm not going to just share it myself. Hallelujah. I'm just going to be obedient. However, let me tell you, put a disclaimer. You don't have to if you don't believe. Or if you believe the word that God is going to bless you. And you're going to stand up on God's word. You're going to stand up on God's word for a particular area of your life. That you're going to believe God in that particular area of your life. Because you know what? All of us here is going through something. Everybody here, even children, have their own little problem that they're going through. All of us. But guess what? We can experience God in our problems. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because you live. Praise and worship leader. Hallelujah, because you live. Hallelujah. Anybody want to make the pledge? Hallelujah. Come on, musician. Hallelujah. If, remember, Sister Annette have a card. You can write a pledge. Get the card. I have my pledge. I'm going to get my card. This is the word. Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't know any sickness, family member, anything you want to sow in. Hallelujah. Stand on the word. Get a testimony from the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Now we're going to pray and believe. Hallelujah. It is impossible. It is impossible. Lift your faith up. Lift your faith up. Lift your faith up. Lift your faith up above your circumstances. We are living in a real time where there's real problem. Hallelujah. But the Bible said he will fight against those who fight against us. Be still and know that he is God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If we can make a way, please. If you want to sow. Hallelujah. As we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Glory, oh glory, glory. If you could all stand, please. Hallelujah. I know, I know, I know. He holds. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. I can face tomorrow. Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, you are worthy. My God, you are great. My God, we lift you up above our circumstances. My God, you are the rock of the valley of the shadow of death. And mighty God, we fear no evil because you are with us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. My God, remember those who are going through bereavement. Remember those in the hospital. Remember those who are going through marital problem, financial problem. Mighty God, remember those who have not yet accept you as their Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Allow God to 
husband show you. Son can love your husband show you. But in order to do that, self has to die. Because guess what? You can be a husband something as he said. You know what? I will never step foot in that church. All of you guys are hypocrites. I remember that because guess what? That used to happen to my mother. My father said I will never step foot in that church. Because some things she probably said discouraged him. My father never stepped foot until my mother died. But that shall not be a portion. Amen. Your husband shall be. Amen. Shall come Amen. With Amen. You. Amen. 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 You shall stand with your husband. Hallelujah. You shall take up the mantle and lead the family. Amen. Amen. But God wants to use you. Amen. Other ways where you can think of how can I express love to my husband? What does he like? What does he dislike? Let him see something change. I mean, you might be doing your best, but there's something more for you to do. There's something more because in the home, it is action, 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 action. And be careful as wives that you have to learn to control your tongue. <laughs> You have to learn to control your tongue. You have to learn to control your bike. Anytime you want to say something, go and talk to the Lord about your husband. Talk to the Lord about your husband. Talk to the Lord about your husband. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Am I saying something right? Am I? Amen. Am I saying something right, ladies? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Control. Control. Control the tongue. Control the tongue. Hallelujah. Let them see God in you. Let them see God in you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let them see God in you. Praise God. Because all of you guys would love to see your husband in heaven. Amen. And when the family, when the son and the daughter them see them family, them father, church, my God. I said, Lord, when my daughter born, I don't want her to see me in the world. Hallelujah. Praise God. We men are stubborn. Very stubborn. Just one thing you do, one little thing, one thing. And he said, no, no, I'm not going. Why? Because no matter who invited them, I'm not coming. You did us, you did him something. And he said, I'm not coming. He may not say, I'm not coming. No, 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 go on. Why are you forcing me? I'm not coming. No, no, no. I'm a big man. Don't try to control me. I'm a big man. Don't try to control me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I'm a husband. We know what it's like. We are men. We understand. We want to feel like men. If God is in you, why not show me that? Okay, then if you serve a God, then God not tell you to curse me as a husband. God not tell you to love me as a husband. Praise God. Hallelujah. So anything I'm trying to say to you, love your husband. Amen? Love your husband. Love your husband. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're going to pray. Okay. Man of God. Man of God. Man of God. Can you just come, please? Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Man of the glasses. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Everest, hallelujah, praise God. We're just going to pray for these godly women. Amen. That God will really use them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Father, Lord, my God, we call upon your gracious name. Father, Lord, my God, as your daughters are standing before you, God, Hallelujah. Father, Lord, speak to the heart of their husband. Hallelujah. Or so ever might be that, that is making them to feel not coming, or Hallelujah. maybe coming and also going back. From this moment, I say, Lord, speak to their heart and open their heart that henceforth they will begin to come with their wives, with their family to the church and serve you because there will be a greater glory when we all, they all are in your presence. In Jesus' name, have prayed. Amen. 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 Okay. Amen. Make a way. Those who are single, single ladies, hallelujah, we're going to pray for you. Those who want a good husband. And men, single men, single ladies, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're going to pray. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.
Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father Lord, my God, we call upon your precious name once again. Hallelujah. Father Lord, my God, your daughters are standing before you. Hallelujah. My Lord, my God, you have never decided to make anyone single. Father Lord, my God, we ask, O oh Lord, for our Lord, bring forth their husband, O oh Lord. Not just a husband, the husband of your own heart. Yes, your husband God. will encourage them to do your work yes, more than Lord. ever as they have been doing before. My Lord, my God, we say come, we come upon your name just once more. My Lord, let there be testimony from this effect of my prayer. Let us come back here and give testimony to your holy name. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, man of God. Stay, man of God. Stay, stay, stay with us. <laughs> I want to pray for Jaden and remain complete. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come. I want to pray for Brother Lion. Yes. I want to pray for the big man himself, Mr. Delhi. Hallelujah. I just want to pray with you, sir. Thank you. Hallelujah. Make your way, please. Come on, Jaden. Hallelujah. Praise God. Put your hands together for them, please. Thank you. Come to the Come to the Hallelujah. You see, I don't know if I'm going to live to see tomorrow, but I know I'm alive today. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know. So I'm going to do all that I can do. Yes. Big boss, whatever. Come in. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Come. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Any unsaved husband again? Yes, sir. What's your name again, please, sir? John. John. Yes, John. John. Amen. Come, John. 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 What up, John? John, you're baptized, isn't it? John? You okay? Good. 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 Amen. We want to pray for men. And Amen. Hallelujah. Remain, Jaden, guys. You'll be playing. Hallelujah. You know, for us to continue to go to heaven. Amen. And I want you to know that the Lord have a calling upon both of your lives. Amen. Amen. And no matter what you achieve in this world, it is nothing without God. Amen. Josh, come see me. I want to highlight up your faith. Make your faith stronger. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's not just playing the music. But it's about having that relationship with God. Amen. Hallelujah. And as men, God called men to be the head of the home that we must Hallelujah. lead our family. And we know sometimes it's not easy. It's, not easy. it's nice to see yourself come into church very often. Praise God. And I pray that God will continue to touch you. But we know that this is a man of mine. Hallelujah. Nobody can force you to pray to God. Because you see this road. Some things will happen to you that never happened to you when you start to follow Christ. I'm telling you the living truth. But it has to be a made up mind that to say, Lord, you have created me. You have given me breath. And I am cho have chosen for you to use me. Hallelujah. Mighty God. That means that not even a wife can allow you to backslide. We don't know that you have a relationship with God. That's right. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's been years now. Not going to say it's easy. But you know what? I have a soul insurance that if I die today, I know where I'm going. And you have to have the service question. If I should die, where am my soul going? We've seen every single day people, dead family member gone. But don't listen. Don't accept Christ out of fear. Accept him out of love for what he has done for Hallelujah. you. He has given you breath. You can get up this morning. Amen. You can breathe this morning. Yes. Praise God. Amen. You have life today. The best gift you can have is life. You can spend Amen. life with the children. You can see them. You can love them. But we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. No. Good things and bad things happen to Christian people and non-Christian people as well. Amen. But the good thing is that where are you going after we leave this earth? That is the question we have to ask ourselves. Where am I going after I leave this earth? Amen. Where am I going? Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. And I want to encourage you oh, to give Jesus a chance in your life. Yes. Think about it. Give Jesus a chance in your life. Yes. You see, he died for you. Don't care what nobody thinks. It's all about you and him. Amen. 
Amen. Think about it. Amen. A lot of people love this opportunity right now to make a decision. Mm. But unfortunately, that opportunity has been yes. taken away from My them. God. But you do have a choice. And what the decision is yours. My job is to encourage you. Is to encourage you and to remind you that Jesus, who I love you, and you have a family to lead to the Lord. The Bible said the women are the weaker vessels. And God gave us man to, to lead our family Amen. to the Lord. Amen. To protect them. Come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. Man of God, let's pray. Pray for us. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Father, Lord, we say thank you for the life of these ones, so Lord. Amen. Father, Lord, my God, may these ones never miss heaven. Lord. Hallelujah. Father, Lord, my God, yes, God, may these ones never miss the benefit thank of you. worshiping yes, you. Yes, Lord. Because we know, oh Lord, Father, Lord, as we worship you today, not yes. just to meet up our daily needs or maybe our hard desires, yes, God. but we are hoping for that last day, oh Lord, Lord, Lord. that yes. we will be worthy. Oh. Who will be worthy among those that will enter into your kingdom? Father, Lord, my God, may these ones never miss heaven. May these ones never miss heaven. No matter whatsoever may be the situation that would come before death. Father, Lord, my God, give them the grace. Give them the grace to be able to say true that that last day, O Lord, Father, Lord, we will all the saints will be gathered. And begin to give glory to your holy name mm -hmm. and begin to sing that name. Yes. In, the Jesus name. Amen. In Jesus' heavenly name, we'll pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Have a seat. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is amazing. Amen. 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 Praise God. We serve an awesome God, people. Amazing God. We serve an awesome God. I remember Amen. in closing, I'm coming down, I know that time is gone. But you know what? We have to do God's work. It's more important than time. Amen? Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Remember I went to Jamaica and we I put on a concert. Not concert, the band is a meeting on the street. And remember, God said, pray for men. Pray for men because the enemy is after them. Amen. And I remember a guy was calling up some men to pray. Some come, some didn't come. And I remember after I finished praying and came back to England. One of the guys who was in America went down to have a truck. And I heard that the truck ran over his head. Mm -hmm. Just after that, we pray. Remember, people of God, the Bible says the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But God came that we may have life and have life more abundantly. And let me tell each and every one of us, once you can see somebody and you can tell them about Jesus. God, don't get too comfortable. They may not like you. They may not say, oh, you irritate me, but don't matter. No because matter. you, God will hold you accountable. That's right. You might That's be working right. with somebody and they don't even know that you're a Christian because you're trying to work with policy. We're going to answer to the policy of God. Come on. Mm -hmm. When God calls you, say, Lord, because of the policy that they have, who are you going to listen to? Amen. Policy of God. It is your responsibility that if you have somebody who are not saved, to tell them because you don't know if you're going to see that person again. It is you and their responsibility. Look at the world we're living in right now. We don't know. We don't know. I don't know if you're going to see me again tomorrow. Yeah. You might hear my God listen where the heart was there. But guess what where the heart is? It's gone. I've been driving years after years and years. Anything could have happened to me. I've been driving taxi for years. You could have heard that brother have a crashing accident. God forbid. But it's the grace of God why you and I are here today. Amen. And you have a choice to make it right with God, to accept God or not. You say he's sending you a friend request. You can accept it or reject it. The choice yes. is yours. Amen. God bless you. Wow, wow, wow. An encouragement. I'm sure everyone, anyone, even here in the sanctuary and out there on Facebook and other 
other platforms that they've heard your voice this morning will say that they have got something to take away with them this morning and to plant in their heart so that it will grow and it will flourish and that they will pass on those messages from the throne of grace to others that didn't hear the sermon this morning and even put them on the replay put them towards the replay and let them listen to the whole service because there's something in there for everyone bless the lord sister annette will be coming to give us the announcement announcement of the week and even to the end of the month maybe even further still amen praise the lord praise the lord what a wonderful what a wonderful day amen amen, amen. amen. god is good okay the announcement um, tomorrow Monday will be fasting and prayer, starting off at 10.30 through to 12 noon, and that will be here in the sanctuary. Also, um, in the evening, we'll be having our Freedom in Christ, which is run by the discipleship team. No, it's not tomorrow. It's after. Thank you. Sorry, scrap that. Okay, so just the prayer and fasting um, tomorrow. 10.30 through to 12. On Tuesday, um, the ladies will be meeting on Zoom. Um, we'll send out the, the link, um, but it's the same link as before. But just let you know that the ladies will be meeting on Zoom. I'm not quite sure if it's 7 or 7.30, uh, but we will clarify that and confirm that, okay? So please, if you're able to um, click on and join in, uh, with the ladies ministry on tuesday which will be on zoom on wednesday we'll be joining here again for prayer bible study starting at 7 15. so we have start off with prayer and then we go straight into our bible study afterwards and on thursday will be the ongoing funeral celebration for our late brother Lucan johnson procession will be here and getting ready to start at 10.45, okay, and then the funeral will the, continue straight after that. So they'll be here, the procession to start at 10.45. And also please um, remember Sister Ruby and the entire family, especially that particular day, it's gonna be hard it's also a birthday as well so it's going to be very challenging for her very very hard for her because you know when your birthday you want to celebrate but it's your husband's funeral so it's um that's going to be very difficult so please remember to pray for sister ruby and all the family um siobhan it's her grandfather as well so please remember all the families connected to sister ruby as they um as they lay in to rest. Thank you. On Friday will be the start of our National Youth Academy. Through till Sunday, oh, our young people, there's quite a few of the young people, the work is going over on Friday. You need to be here at church between 4 and 4.15 so that you can get the, the luggage on board and everything to leave by 4.30. Um, I know it um, could be a bit challenging for some, but if you can be here as close to that as possible, because it's it been a Friday and also the, the traveling time, and also that we have to encounter the traffic as well, take that into consideration. So if you can, please be here on time this Friday to leave by 4.30. 4.30. On Saturday, there is um, going to be a book launch here. Um, Sister Sylvia, who's normally on the radio, she's having a book launch and a praise evening, a prayer and gospel music and book signing um, evening. And that's going to be here on Saturday here at church, starting from 6 o'clock through to 8 p.m. Everyone is welcome. I've been asked to announce this. Uh, we're not actually hosting it. They are hosting it. But everyone is welcome to come and join if you're able to be here on Saturday uh, between 6 and 8 p.m. 
Okay, so you could just leave that up so people can just um, digest that. And then on Sunday, there will be our men's day. Two services um, as normal. They will be running the 8.30 and also the 11 o'clock service as well. So that is Sunday. Next week, Sunday, the men will be in charge. And I'm going to skip over to November um, just to um, give you this one day. November the 12th, Saturday, November, November the 12th, will be our district workers' conference. And this will be held in Newport. So please um, just keep that date in your head. And all the, everyone is welcome, actually. I know it's the um, district workers, but we're all workers. Okay, so if we can make it, if you can make it, please be there and we will let you know the time we're leaving um, next week, all right? Um, but please just bear that date in mind. Immediately uh, after church this morning, the discipleship team will be, there's um, tea and coffee, yes, and drinks in the L room. For those who want to, just to stop and have a chat, um, if you're if you want somebody to talk to, if you want to know more about God, if there's anything that's troubling you, if anything, please stop in at the, on, in the L room on your way out and want to have a cup of tea and have a drink in the process. I'm not quite sure if there's any cake. I see biscuits, but I don't see any cake. Uh, but that's okay because, you know, we're going to go home for our dinner shortly. So, um, so please, please stop off and have um, a bit of snack before you leave today. Okay, we have some birthdays, as um, Sister Carol has been announcing the birthdays uh, throughout the service. We have Sister Marva who's celebrating her birthday today. Yes. Amen, 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 amen. We have Sister Simone and Bertwin. Can they come yesterday. two in one? That was yesterday. Yes. Yeah, Sister Mercy. 19. Oh, Sister Mercy's birthday was on the 19th. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So October is um, very popular. And beautiful. Then we have Sister Tesla, Minister Tess, who's celebrating her birthday tomorrow, the 24th. We have Sarah, who will be celebrating hers on the 25th. Amen. Is there anybody else? Sister Tessa, no? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Tess. Anyone else who's celebrating their birthday? No. No? Anybody who's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I think we'd, um, yeah, it'd be nice to do that next week. Yeah. do it next week yeah, yeah, yeah. the men. So I'm going to ask, and I know time is going, but you know, oh, Sister Marva yeah. looks so lovely this morning, so we just yeah. need to show her off again, okay? <laughs> Sister, Sister Simone, <laughs> Sister Mercy, Minister Tess, to come, and we're just going to sing happy birthday and celebrate oh, with you, because, you know, we have to give yeah. God thanks. It's just not everyone, um, <laughs> everyone is going to see another birthday. And you know, while I'm here, um, we've also had some bereavements. Hello, hello, hello. We've also had some bereavement as well. Um, as you know, last week we told you about Brother H's nephew who suddenly died from a tragic, tragic car accident. And you know, we pray for, um, his mother, who is, you know, heartbroken right now, and the family. So please remember the uh, brother H and his family, sister and family. We have sister Emmy and the Thomas family. They're going through their bereavement. Um, Sean, Everton, Gary, and Alvin, you know, lost their father. So please remember the Thomas family at this time. Then we have. Um, Rupert Wallace, 
You know, a lot of us know him from the community, from the Church of God of Prophecy. He sadly passed away on Friday as well, because all this happened Friday, Monday, Friday. Uh, well, what the report was Thursday night, Friday morning, so that crossover. And then we have, remember the uh, Shirley Finnegan, me, Henry, who is the aunt of the Baxters, um, the Harveys, you know, the, 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 the family, you know, a close family. So please remember, you know, Shirley was 57 um, and she passed away. So there's a lot of young people. There's 57 years young. Okay, 57 years young. So, Okay, and also Miss Eda Rose, who um, lost a cousin here in Gloucester at Tefney, so please remember her as well. So there's a lot of people who's going through hard times right now. Okay, very sad times. So we just need to back them up in prayer. Okay? Well, if we can't see them, we can pray for them. And just if you can't, you know, you probably don't know personally, but just all the names, just mention the names. Say, Lord, remember so-and-so. Remember the Henry family. Remember the Finnegan family. Remember the Wallace family. Remember the Thomas family. Remember the uh, Johnson family. So many families. Just remember them right now. Okay. So now, we're going to sing happy birthday. We're going to sing happy birthday to these wonderful people who are celebrating their birthday today and this week. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Strong woman of God. 
she's just been right there with you. I know that. And your dad too. But when I say your mum, boy, your mum, amazing woman. So yes, so God bless you. And it was 99, so Paul had said, that was 53. It's all right. It's a good baby day. It's all right. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna sh we're gonna close our service this afternoon. God bless you, and uh, we're gonna end with a blessing. And if everyone will stand, and if you just raise your right hand this morning, this afternoon, sorry, in the presence of God, as we minister the blessing, and you all agree together. The Lord bless you.